Okay. Welcome everyone to Demo Day. And this is what uh, everything you've been doing has been leading up to. So on our agenda for today, we're going to have a short welcome by our founder. And she's also going to introduce our judges. And then we're gonna go into our pitches for today. And then the judges are gonna go away for 20 to 30 minutes where they'll be doing the judging. And then we're gonna have a lovely speech by our judge Vincent. And then we're going to award the winners and quickly wrap up. So let me hand over to our lovely founder, Elena Snell. Thank you. Thank you so much. So welcome everyone, uh, welcome judges, welcome mentors, and of course, welcome uh, the, the teams of teenagers who have been working uh, super hard for the last five days uh, to be in front of you today and present their projects. I know uh, we have uh, some parents tuning in as well uh, to watch their children and of course our wider network. Um, don't forget we're streaming this live on all social media platforms. Um, and you, I hope you'll be able to engage with us on all social media platforms as well, wherever you are following us. So I'm here to uh, welcome you all and to, to thank our sponsors, Capgemini and Sage for uh, sponsoring a program like this and making it uh, very accessible uh, to everyone to participate. Uh, we have had uh, lots of applications. Um, we've only got about 32 participating this summer. Um, and we have got teenagers from 11 countries represented in, um, in this cohort. Uh, this is the seventh time we're running a program like this. Uh, so 2016 was when we ran um, this program for the first time here in London. Um, and this was all happening face to face. It's a, a bit of a different experience, I have to say, when it's face to face. Um, and I know we all miss this, so I really hope maybe from next year we can reintroduce the face-to-face -face element or keep it hybrid. Um, so this year, the format was slightly different. It was much faster. We worked in sprints and it took us five days to complete the program. Um, in the past, we've taken two weeks and in the last couple of years due to COVID, we also had a different format, a three week format where we went very deeply into technologies. So this time the program was very holistic. Um, we've covered uh, design thinking, we've covered AI ethics. We have also been learning how to code and some, um, some fundamentals of AI. Um, we've also been learning about business models, uh, value canvas, uh, value proposition. Um, and of course we were learning um, how to pitch. So it's a real pleasure to host uh, this again for the seventh time. And I'm really, really excited. That we have all teams now on the call. They're all ready. They have all been practicing and pitching to their mentors, um, to their friends and families. And I know they all are ready to pitch in front of you. So on this note, I am going to now introduce uh, our judges um, of this demo day. Uh, we have uh, Vincent joining us from Capgemini, um, who I would definitely like uh, to give a couple of minutes just to introduce yourself uh, properly and tell us what you're looking for. We also have got Anne um, joining us from Manchester today. Uh, she's from, Cap, um, from Sage, apologies. And of course, we have uh, Tanya Ahmed from Goldman Sachs, um, who has already judged our demo days previously. Um, and I'm gonna invite each one of you to say hi to our teams. Um, tell us a little bit of, uh, about yourself and your background so that teen teenagers know what exactly you will be looking and tell us what are you looking for the most in this demo day? So I'm gonna begin with Vincent. Sure, thank you very much, Elena. Hi, everyone. Very pleased to, to be here. So uh, a quick note on my background. So I am a, an engineer um, with uh, around 15 years of experience with two legs, one on technology and on one another one on sustainability. So I'm very glad uh, to be here. And what I am looking for today is, um, um, I don't know, some, some, some fresh hair, some fresh innovation to support because basically my job at Capgemini is to implement some solution 
um, to better measure uh, the carbon emission, to help reduce carbon emission and help them to anticipate the net zero goal. So um, I'll be more than happy to support and ensure that goals for our clients. Fantastic, thank you. And now I'm gonna pass it on to Anne and let with from Sage. Hi everyone. It's uh, just want to say thank you for the opportunity for being here for a start. So I'm Anne, she, her. Uh, I am a Director of Engineering and Sage Technical Fellow. I have um, about 22 years experience of being a technologist and general geek. Um, I'm very passionate that technology should do the right thing. And I'm also very um, have key interests in security and privacy. So I'm wanting to see similar things of something that really solves a great problem creatively and innovatively, but also balances that with making sure that it's doing the right thing to no unintended consequences. Um, does that make sense? Thank you. Yes, great. Uh, thank you so much, Anne. And Tanya, you have done this many times in the past, <laughs> but we welcome yes. you always back. Uh, yes, I, I love being involved here. So uh, thank you very much for inviting me again. Uh, so I'm Tanya Ahmed and I'm a designer, uh, design thinker, uh, human centered designer, essentially, which which means that, you know, everything we, uh, I design and we design, we want to ensure that a we're me, you know, really designing for uh, fixing real problems uh, that people have uh, through technology. And so uh, sometimes it's not a technology that, that the solution, you know, that the best solutions, you know, are not necessarily done by technology or solved by technology. But I think that just bringing a human centered approach to the work we do uh, is really important. Uh, so a little bit, just a little bit about me as well. I, I've uh, worked at IBM, uh, also uh, Quantum Black McKinsey, where I've designed lots of solutions with AI. Uh, and now I'm at Goldman Sachs uh, doing doing a similar thing, but also helping helping design uh, applications uh, for our advisors. And so what I'm what am I looking for? I'm looking for I won't say innovation again because it's already already been said, <laughs> but I will say uh, you know interesting ways of of solving problems. Uh, really thoughtful uh, the teams that are really looking through through uh, research, really thinking about solutions, the impact of those solutions. Um, and, and obviously these are very hard problems to solve. So really having an inquisitive mind and really trying to address some of these. Uh, so I think I'm, I'm really going to look at, at you know, the research side of things and, and how uh, every team is bringing um, that, that into, into some of the solutions that they're proposing. And, Fantastic. Well, and good luck. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Tanya. All right. Well, uh, I think we're ready. We bought you a little bit of time. Team one, be sharing your screen. And remember, it's uh, three minutes to pitch. And then it's only two minutes questions from judges. So judges, do prepare some questions. And we are going to give you a minute between the pitches so that you have enough time to record your scores as well.
it looks like we're ready to start. Hey, Kose. Uh, sorry, not Kose. Um, Wenjia, Lad, Aya, are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, it's Aya here. I, I don't know. We agree she was not. Um, hello, everyone. So um, this is a uh, team two. We call ourselves this uh, disaster info. And our team come up with the app um, for solution how we might put uh, AI insect in use to minimize damage caused by natural disasters and <clears throat> help people in these situations. Uh, so there's uh, over 400 natural disasters reported as uh, 2021. A lot of people, they lost their properties, their homes, and some of them die. And um, 100 million people uh, affected by natural disasters. So our persona is Maria. She's a Japanese woman. Um, and because of her country of residence, uh, she can she highly affected by uh, risk of um, natural disasters, and she's a uh, um, not a quick thinker in situations like this. So um, that's why she need uh, apps like this. Um, next. So um, based on our interviews, our team um, came up that most people, they worry about shelters and that they can mm, not find shelters or safety. And people uh, often seek um, accurate information and help to escape from the disaster and seek shelters. Hello, so in order um, we make the product user friendly, we carried out research in which we had certain objectives like understanding the user's behavior during the disaster and investigating what are the priorities during the disasters. So on our research findings, we, uh, we found out that most of them were seeking shelter and also they wanted to make sure if they will be safe and they wanted quick solutions during the disasters. So my team member, uh, Buenja, will continue with the solution that we went through. So our solution is our app, Disaster Info, uh, and our app will provide a network of self shelter locations and other important information we need during a natural disaster. Uh, here's a, the demo of our product. So when you download the app, you can choose between if you need help uh, immediately or you downloading because you live in a high-risk area. Uh, you can sign up, and we made our sign up very quick and easily uh, because in a stressful situation, you don't want to be uh, putting many, fulfilling many forms and answering many questions. So this is a home page, and at the top you can change the, uh, to share your location to your emergency contacts. So uh, this is a shelter network, uh, and you can navigate to each each option. And also, our app is very helpful for tourists who do not know where which which number to call in an emergency. So you can call the local ambulance from there. And you can see here the emergency contact list, which you're sharing your location to so they can make sure you're safe. But you also have the option to count to not share if you, for privacy reasons. Uh, yeah, that's our product. Okay, uh, our business model. Since our product is a social good, we didn't want to make the consumer pay for it. So therefore we wanted to reach out to governments and other charities as our product would speed up the recovery process and reduce casualties. Uh, uh, I hand over for I hand over to Vlad to discuss our AI ethics. So our app uh, requires certain information from the user and in order to make sure that we respect uh, the user's data, we established end-to-end -end data encryption and also we had a firm informed consent of use of data from the users and we protect the data from other third parties, other third parties and also um, we introduce fairness and transparency in our product. 
Okay, thank you so much, Sheila. Unfortunately, we have run out of time. Oh, yeah, that was really, finished. really, really great. Thank you so much, team two. Okay, I'm going to hand over to the judges and see if they have any questions they'd like to ask you. Hi, first of all, great presentation and I thought it was fantastic. And if I'm ever in a in a bad situation, I ha hope I have this app. Um, can I ask you what is the AI component in the in the solution? Um, I will hand over to our tech uh, tech guy, Vlad, to answer this question. Uh, well, hmm. Uh, firstly, you will be able to use AI uh, to like to make AI think of like the best thing to do in the situation. So, uh, well, yeah, that's that's pretty much it, I guess. So what it's doing there, instead of just doing some very basic what's in the area, it's going to have a little bit more smarts, a little bit more additional information and really yeah. route you to exactly the sort of the, the safest place to be. Well, yeah, for example, we can use it to analyze you know, which buildings can be used as shelter. So like, because, you know, you can't use any building as a shelter. You know, you can't just use a random wooden hut. Uh, like that will be just blown away uh, if it's a hurricane or fall apart yeah uh so we can just use maps and uh, image recognition to find uh, proper buildings uh, to be used as shelter okay brilliant thank you okay well done right, is, there, is there any other data that you might be using um as well, just to follow on on that AI question. Um, is there any other other data that points that you thought you might want to use in recommending shelters? Uh, first of all, we have proximity to you. That's the most important. Yeah. Uh, other data points, I would say, as you saw in the demo, we have capacity. So if, the, if, if it's full, then we will also rely on the shelters themselves. We will contact them and they will update us with information such as capacity and uh, what condition their building is in at the moment. Great, thank you so much. All right. All right, so the judges are going to go to the breakout room so that they can continue judging from there. Um, they'll be gone for about 20 to 25 minutes. And then us over here, I'm gonna allow everyone to take a five minute break. And then I've organized cute little quiz, <laughs> quizzes that we can play while we wait for the judges to come back. So Well done, everyone. That was really, really amazing. Really innovative pitches. Well, I found the experience really nice. I mean, I didn't expect to learn so much. Uh, when I came, I was like, okay, maybe I'll make a few friends and do this and that. Until I realized I was learning so much. I didn't know anything about AI before, but um, now I have a lot of experience, a lot of experience, and how to work in a team, teamwork, and. Yeah, just generally how to pitch a product because I'm really interested in Dragon's Den and all that, but I have never actually knew how to do it. So it was a really nice experience for me. Yeah, that was so great and useful. A lot of information was new for me too. I'm really glad to make friends with my team. Yeah, this is a great, uh, such a great opportunity to be a part of this amazing course or event. 
yeah, that's really helped me with a lot of information. Yeah, really nice to meet everyone in my teams, mentors, and everyone helped. This sounds fantastic, everyone. Is anyone else wanting to share with us? I can go. So thank you very much, Tinsen AI. Again, very, very cool program. I previously participated in the AI Future Leaders program, which was more like had a much long prolonged period like around two and a half months and this one was very very um, fast paced but still we received so many cool ideas uh, and advices from the mentors from the our guests from the judges everything was great and i guess i didn't actually know that we can create uh, and develop the idea that profoundly in that short amount of time so thank you for this valuable experience and i guess and i hope that i can come again for your some new programs thank you that's amazing does anyone want to let us know what was the biggest challenge that you and your teams might have faced during this time? How many of you are interested in taking your experience further and looking into um, career paths in the AI and um, tech space? Our time is different and it was very funny, but it wasn't really complicated, so. I think all of you could be super proud of yourselves for pushing through those challenges. Um, I'm sure it was nerve wracking and also just to get your product um, pitched together. I'm sure it was also um, quite made you quite nervous, but you guys have all done such an amazing job so far. So we're very impressed. Um, with you guys and I hope that you guys are also um, proud of yourselves and impressed with the amazing work that you've done so far. Uh, okay, I can go. Um, I finished professional certificate of data analysis uh, from IBM and I would like to proceed with AI research because I made a research with AI in finance, um, artificial intelligence trading machines and their benefits and pitfalls for the overall market search. And uh, <clears throat> Also, I participated in your program, uh, AI Future Leaders, and here AI Incubator, and made independent research on AI and health. So, yeah, uh, I would like to know more about AI and space as field because I never, like, before like, looked on that. Yeah, that's it. All right, so uh, welcome back judges and thank you everyone for your patience and, and for waiting 
uh, for us to, to return uh, with a verdict. As always, it's always uh, nerve wracking and stressful because all of your pitches were so incredible that it was very hard for, uh, for the judges to decide on who should win that first prize and who should win that second prize. And I really wish um, everyone uh, could, could be um, awarded that first prize, but unfortunately in our competitions, it doesn't work like that. And we still had to, uh, they had to debate and decide and discuss. So what I will do now is I'm going to invite every judge to share with you their overall feedback. Um, and what they thought of the presentation and maybe even some tips or um, any, any suggestions they may leave you. They won't be individual feedback for every single team, but we do have that individual feedback and we will share that feedback with you um, after, after, the, after the demo. So uh, I'm going to start with Tanya. Perhaps you could um, give us your overall impression. And I know this is not the first time you're judging at this competition. So perhaps even compare it to some of your previous experiences. And I hope this was a positive one too. Yes, yes, absolutely. Uh, always exciting to be involved. See see how much you can do in a week. It's it's always amazing, like in five days, how much, how much each team can produce, think about carefully, uh, and you know, look at these really complex problems that we're facing. So well done to all of your all of the teams. Uh, the pitches were were really amazing. Also, um, I think the the narrative style, the the way you told the story as well, was very very engaging. So I really we really enjoyed that. I think uh, the prototypes also very very well done. Uh, I think that was also noticeable. I saw in in all of the teams, and then of course the use of AI as well uh, was was novel. Uh, and also, you know, the, the user research that went into it, and again, thinking about the problem um, from a from a kind of holistic perspective. So well done to every team that that's been involved. Uh, I can we can see all the hard work um, that that you've put into this, and and it well done. Thank you, thank you, Tanya. Mm -hmm. um, so, and I'm now going to ask uh, Anne to perhaps also give us your overall feedback. Very similar to Tanya. I was, I was, I didn't know what I was kind of not, I've not done this before. So I, I didn't know quite what to expect. And you weren't in the judges, um, you weren't in the judges breakout room. But one of the first things I said was, I feel so inspired. And I feel like the future is, is safe in the hands of these people. I think, you know, you obviously very ethical future technologists, so creative. So, such brilliant um, presentations, how you managed to achieve all of that in a week and then somehow managed to condense a week's worth of work into such a, a targeted small pitch. I, I don't know. Uh, anyway, I was just, I was blown away. I thought it was all just fantastic. Amazing. Thank you so much. And Vincent, um, overall um, feedback from you as well? Yes, yeah, very uh, similar to what Tanya and Ad, um, of course, said. Congratulations to to all. It was also my my first time, and yeah, the way you you pitch it, the way you you came from the problem to the solution was uh, the consideration of ethics, the the AI, the the technology, the prototype. Well, everything was uh, very impressive, and thank you everyone for that. Fantastic. Well, um, there you go. Um, we obviously have got one more talk uh, planned for you. Um, and this is to keep you waiting. And this is quite deliberate as well, because patience is rewarded. So before we announce um, that first and second prize, um, we have Vincent uh, from Capgemini, who will be closing this event with his keynote. So Vincent, your connection is fantastic. It's over great. To you. <laughs> Yeah, no worries. I won't be too long because I know um, that we all want to know who, who got it, uh, this, um, this winning prize. Um, so, yeah, I wanted to share quite of my experience during the, the, the summer. I don't know if um, uh, some of you have the chance to enjoy your summer break. Um, on my side, I did. And we can certainly now confess that um, it is today no more possible to be blindness about climate change, right? Um, this summer, we faced a very big heat wave in Europe. Uh, we faced some extremely violent and unpredictable wind. 
uh, we faced an historic wildfire. Um, so all this was in Europe, at least, and I guess all over the world, it's about the same. This year was, again, the hottest year that we have. So we all know that you know, our planet is clearly burning and climate change is now clearly observable more than ever. It's no more about prediction. It's, it's really in front of us. Um, it's our reality and it is apparent. So um, another reality is that our representative um, are not acting as quick as needed, uh, as we like to, um, to avoid this climate disaster. And these leaders are also not diverse as it should. Um, and we might clearly see here uh, a correlation, right? Um, so this is uh, key for our future uh, to see more diversity in action. And this is key also for our planet. Um, climate change is one of the biggest challenges that we are facing, and we will be even more impacted in the next decade. So technology could help. Um, AI could help. Um, it's a cult, um, but technology won't be a silver bullet, right? Um, it has to be applied in a responsible manner um, to with the consensus of its own impact to the climate and having in mind that behind all technology, there is a human, right? So at Capgemini, uh, we are now used to say, uh, you know, get the future you want. And as a teenager uh, working on such challenges, you are taking control of your future you want. And this is definitely resonated perfectly with Capgemini. So congratulations to all of you. I am really feeling so grateful. Uh, I can feel your engagement, your passion about these challenges. Thank you so much for the great horsepower you are bringing for our planet. And maybe I should say our mother hers, as it has been said today during the demo. So thank you very much, everybody. Fantastic, such inspiring words. Thank you, Vincent. And without further ado, uh, and I know Natsika just told me she has a special drum roll. I want to hear it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> here it goes. Oh my God, it's actually real. <laughs> well done, Natsika. Okay, this is the first one. So we've managed to create a drum roll um sound so this is fantastic so we're gonna start with the second prize and this will be announced by vincent so it's over to you vincent again and then it's anne who will announce the first prize so vincent <laughs> so without waiting no more it's team number three so congratulations to team number three with um eco lingent um, we really much like um, the way you did it with uh, the approach from switching to the problem to the solution. Um, the prototype as well, well very interesting. Um, the business model, how you approach also carbon emission at scales uh, by reference is how you calculate this emission. Well, congratulations team number three. And the price is going to be shared by Elena, I think we have a slide now, or yeah. yeah. Uh, yes, we do have a slide. Uh, the second place um, uh, is, is getting a pitch presentation to Capgemini's senior leadership team. Uh, you. And you will also get a discount to any one of the courses that Teens and AI are launching. And we will be trialing that first course in October. So it would be great to have you all exploring image processing and signal processing uh, this coming October. So you will be receiving more details uh, from Natsika by email. Fantastic. Thank you, Vincent, for that. And now it's over to Anne. And I want to hear an even uh, louder drum roll. And maybe <laughs> this, time, <laughs> this time we could um, have everyone else join in the drum roll with some emojis and uh, some anticipation, some excitement. Yeah, I'll try and make through a little bit of it as well. Just here. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's take a let's hear it. <laughs> That's such a great oh, thing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to steal that sound effect for um, future <laughs> meetings, I think. Uh, <laughs> First of all, I'd just like to reiterate what a fantastic job that everyone did. And 
it was quite interesting to see how lots of teams sort of picked similar things or things that had similar themes that um, we thought really obviously meant that these things really needed to be solved, right? So that, that was great. And this team, I think, really... So there was, there was a few teams that had looked at sort of a similar sort of approach, a similar sort of app, but this team had really sort of elevated that. So they did a just a, a really fantastic job at their presentation. There was fantastic storytelling. And I think as well that they'd really sort of added a lots, lots of additional features in, lots of, you know, additional ways that they, you know, you could really um, use this app to sort of, pay things forward etc cetera, etc cetera. so um without further ado i feel like we should have another drum roll but um it's team six um food print uh thank you very much it was an absolutely <laughs> absolutely absolutely fantastic pitch and um all i can say is that when the the leadership at sage the senior leadership at Sage see your presentation. I'm sure they will be blown away, as the, the rest of the judging team were today. Fantastic! Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh my God! Congratulations! Congratulations! Thanks. Well deserved. Uh, to me, as I've always said, everyone is a winner uh, by virtue of taking that first step. For some of you into technologies, and many of you didn't code before. And uh, many of you have never even heard about design thinking and prototyping and family business and, you know, all sorts of different uh, words we have thrown at you. And you've managed to, to do this entire process in five days, which is really, really um, admirable. So uh, what is the prize for first, um, first prize winners? Uh, Natsik, if you could share that screen. So you will be presenting in front of the Sage AI senior leadership team. And you also will get a chance to participate um, in uh, one of our courses, uh, take them completely for free. Um, and like I said, we have two courses on offer, <laughs> image processing and signal processing. And you can choose any one of these courses and complete it for free. And whatever is um, most suitable perhaps for your project to make sure that you carry on working on this. And when you present to Sage, um, there will probably be a lot more that you will be able to demonstrate and show. So this is super exciting. We're going to ask uh, Team Six to stay on the call with us. Um, and we just wanted to record a very brief interview with the winning team uh, and to also show the world uh, what, what you three have been able to do. So that's really, really amazing. So once again, I just want to thank everyone, um, the, the mentors for supporting um, every uh, single team. I wanted to also thank uh, the judges uh, for your time today helping us choose uh, the projects and I know we've all been impressed by all of you um, and, um, and, and, and definitely uh, the uh, sponsors Sage and Capgemini we would not have been able to run this project without you every single mentor was committed um, and has supported their team so I hope every single one of the team members thanks their mentors because they have also been working and helping you at the same time. So please do make sure you thank everyone. So on this note, it's a, it's a wrap up. It's the end of the um, AI for Good Incubator. I really hope all of you continue working on these projects and definitely sign up to take uh, the courses which will take you much deeper into the technologies. Um, come back in February when, when we will be running our global campaign in more than 20, potentially 30 countries around the world. And we're again thankful to Capgemini and Sage for supporting this campaign. Uh, this will be run in so many different communities and we're really looking forward to making an impact with you, um, with you all. So thank you so much.